Okay, here's my doublet, 450 ohm window line, not to be confused with a ladder line. Uh, comes up here, kind of a lazy loop, ties up there. Uh, and there's a big loop here, and it goes all the way up here. Try to zoom in here. There's the feed point, a piece of electrician that I drilled. And let's go back to it real slow. Put perspective, it should be about 140 feet long, uh, two by 70 foot radiators. And they are on two of my four anchor points that I had used for my loop, which didn't work out real well here on the property. So that point is probably 80. Five feet. It's got to be at least that's what I measured over on the other corner. There's a piece of string that I had up there and I measured the actual length of it. And that line dropping down there is my retrieval line. And it goes up in those trees. And let's see, there's my inverted V. That's way up there for 80 and 160. So that is that one side. The other side goes over this way to a set of trees in the front of the driveway. And I'll take you over there. See my messy yard. Okay. And we're going to go over to here and see if we can see this baby. Yeah, there it is. It's not as high as I thought it was, so we're going to slowly go up, see if I can point her out. Okay, there it is. There's the egg insulator and the retrieval line. It goes back into those trees and it comes down and it's tied on the mailbox out on the front by the street. But I remember launching that sucker all the way at the tip, so how it got that far down, I don't know. It's possibly tangled in there uh, when I was taking a loop down. Maybe I don't have it pulled out from those branches. Uh, when it warms up, I will uh, try to 